What's up, everybody? What's going on? Surprise. Double feature. <laughs> Second episode yeah. of the same day. Yep. So l- listen to it. <laughs> That's it. Bye. No. No, I'm just playing. Uh, welcome back. So uh, today's episode is, this is kind of like a little short mini, mini-sode. Yeah. Um, we wanted to, uh, we're coming to an end here uh, on the, you know. In April. Earth, Earth, Earth month. month yeah. And so we really just wanted to... Um, Give you a little, a little bit of fa- highlight it a little bit, you know. A couple uh, businesses out yeah. there that's doing things out here yeah. in the city for the earth. <laughs> for, for the earth. For earth. Um, so, actually, the uh, Earth Day uh, was April 22nd. So, mm-hmm. um, But April is Earth Month. And you know that Earth Day, the first Earth Day was 1970? Really? Yeah. I mean, the 60s and 70s were doing things. Yeah, right. They started Earth Month as soon yeah. as uh, <laughs> people start smoking that grass. Look at that. <laughs> they were like, Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, so yeah, it's you know, uh, it's it's kind of like an environmental. It's not kind of like it is an environmental uh, protection kind of support day. And so you know, as individuals, we try to do the best we can, but we also want to hold our businesses accountable because they are uh, really the largest contributors to. Um, the environment. The environment. In, yep. in many different ways. In too. many different ways. And we actually have two different uh, businesses, total different ends of the spectrum. Correct. That uh, both impact the uh, environment. Environment. In, in their own kind of way. Yeah. And, and try, to, try to make this place a better place for us. Yep. Correct. So uh, the two businesses that we're going to be talking about today are Salon Etta and Slow Made. And uh, both Salon Etta and Slow Made are Shoko member businesses. Uh, Shoko is a neighborhood business development center, a program of the Chicago Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection. This episode is in collaboration with them. Uh, and yeah, I think you're going to love these businesses. Honestly, they're great. They're local. They're Chicago owned. Um that is, that is all. That's all. <laughs> Without further ado, first one up, Here Slow May. Here it comes. Let's get it. Can you tell us your name? Yep, I am. And who you are? Marianne. <laughs> Slow Made is my company. And uh, so, what is what is Slow Made? Slow Made is. Uh, a candle company um, with the uh, idea of creating slow and intentional moments. Mm. So we use a non-toxic coconut wax and really it's just all about like having these natural scented candles that really just kind of transport you to your desired state of being. What is, what is like, what is natural scented? Like, what does that mean? Uh, So we use, uh, Natural fragrances that mm. are infused with essential oils. Okay. Um, they do not have, there's no synthetic or uh, anything, nice. paraben, all those icky things in there. So it's as natural as possible. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So why did you decide to open your own store? So this came out a a place. I was creating candles on my own in my kitchen. Mm. Um and it was just a very therapeutic experience for me. I always was burning candles. Um, so I loved burning them and then creating them. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just slowly kept evolving into sharing them with friends yeah. and family. And then uh, during the pandemic, actually, <laughs> uh, this space became available. And I really just had kind of this opportunity that I was like, I gonna take gonna take this chance and uh, just kind of see where it takes me. And so it's been a really exciting journey. But um, but yeah, I love that. Um, And then so you've been how how many is that like two, three years? I I moved into this space um, in I think it was like October of 2020. Nice, nice. So what do you feel like makes you different? Because there's so many people that make candles especially in Chicago I see them all the time yeah. but what, what do you feel like makes you unique um I think the use of our coconut blend is one thing mm-hmm. I think there's a lot there's a lot more of your standard soy uh right. candles out there bad, the soy soy's not bad um you know there's 
there's not really a superior wax gotcha. or a really bad wax with the exception of a paraffin. Right. <laughs> that would be your absolute like no good uh, type of wax. Um, but the things that why we chose a coconut blend, which full disclosure, our coconut is a blend. So mm -hmm. coconut wax is too soft of a wax for mm -hmm. it to just to be a standalone. Right. So it needs to be blended with a harder wax. So we do use soy to blend that. Yeah. Um, why though we chose that blend over a soy is mostly just from our research in finding that while soy is American grown and all that, it comes from soybeans. So there's a lot of pesticides mm. and GMOs related right. to the industry. So we just kind of felt like cutting that in half, yeah, if you will, yeah. you know, like not using it in its sole purpose and using a renewable resource like coconuts where um, there's not GMOs, there's right. not pesticides, uh, the plant, you know, you're just cutting off the yeah. fruit, it's right. refruiting, so it's renewable in that sense. Oh, it just right. gave us, it just gave us an extra layer of kind of like that sustainability that um, is really kind of at one of our core yeah. principles. I love that. Um, how many scents do you have? Do they rotate seasonally or how do you do that? Yeah, so I have six core scents hmm. that are year round and then um, we kind of rotate in our spring, summer hmm. collection um, and then a fall and winter collection. Nice. So those will, you'll see intermittently. And what do you feel like is your most popular? Like what do people keep coming back for? Uh, Boheme is one of my most popular. It was also one of the first ones I created, so it has a special place that. in my heart. Yeah. Um, it's a blend of oak moss, lavender, and sage, so it's very uh, grounding, yes. refreshing. It's light. It's slightly floral, but yeah. not overwhelmingly right. by any stretch. Um, it's just a really good, like, year-round oh, that grounding that sounds That sounds really good. I can't wait to just walk around and smell yeah. all of the candles. <laughs> I'm um, doing it all the time. <laughs> so uh, you are a green business, right? Is that? Yes, yes, I, as green as we can be. Right, so <laughs> how do you do that? What is like, what makes your business green? So we use our uh, uh, amber glass jars. Mm -hmm. um, they are recyclable, they're reusable. Um, we encourage, you know, everyone to either clean them out, recycle them. We also offer a refill oh, and nice. recycling program. So you, you could, can bring it back. Yes, you could, whether you're, if you're local, you can drop them off um, and you can opt to get them refilled. We have a whole little section where you can fill out a form on mm -hmm. our shop, um, but you can also just drop them off and um, yeah, we'll we'll refill and then recycle them and turn them into new candles and oh, all that. Oh, I love that. And then um, one other thing that you offer is class, like candle making classes, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. This is a new venture. Uh, we just uh, started this last uh, month. So in March was our first class. So this has just been really exciting just to get more engaged in the community. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of people who have wanted like been asking about it actually for a while and I've just finally was like you know what yeah, yeah. let's let's yeah. give this a whirl so we're really excited to uh be able to invite people to the studio and uh have them make candles at the moment we are just we have like a certain uh scent selections right, that right. you get to choose from yeah. and make like a slow made candle yeah. but um Hopefully soon we'll be kind of mixing that yeah. up once we get our footing a little oh, bit more and, you know, maybe explore with like yeah. actually kind of creating your own sense with some of ours um, and then just opening it up to to like have the space be a be a place for other workshops. I really like that. Uh, speaking of community, you are a Shoko, a business member. So that means you give back to your community in different ways. So tell us a little bit why you joined Shoko and how do you give back? Yeah. So Shoko was just kind of a no brainer, you know, like wanting to be a part of a community of like-minded businesses and um, really loving that, you know, their values were also rooted in, you know, this giving back nature. Um, and we give back in a couple different ways. One, 
Um, every purchase that is made, we have partnered with One Tree Planted, mm. so we plant a tree. Oh, okay. um, we also will rotate seasonally, monthly, depending on kind of like what's going on. Um, for example, in April, we are, for Earth Month, we are donating a portion of our proceeds to the Alliance of the Great Lakes. Wow. Because we love, yeah. we love our Lake Michigan. Right. Uh, everything about that. So we like, it's, it feels good to be able yeah to be able to do that so we feel very fortunate um and it's just it's just important uh you know as a yeah. part of what we do I so like that. that's really good um okay so where can people shop your candles where can they find you what's your address yeah so find us online at slowmade.co co um or we have our studio here mm -hmm. in logan square uh you can we're not a storefront just yet. Gotcha. It's just a studio space. Um, but So we have, it's by appointment only. Mm -hmm. You can go onto our website and book an appointment and come to the studio, smell some smells, uh, get my undivided yeah. attention and personal <laughs> shopping and uh, help you select whatever scent you are looking for. Oh, that's amazing. Are you gonna be at any markets that people can come see you? Yes, uh, I will be at Renegade. Renegade is one of my just all-time favorites of just attending um, and have been a part of Renegade for years now. <laughs> um, so we'll be at Renegade in Andersonville. Uh, that is April, or sorry, May. Forget the exact dates now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's in May. May. <laughs> uh, it will be there. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks so much. I can't wait to go smell some candles and uh, buy some candles. Perfect. <laughs>
and most of the service industry is two things that I sort of find at fault with it is it is a competitive environment. Mm. So what uh, unfortunately ends up happening is in that environment, the other the service providers within the company start competing against each other and it becomes very clicky and gossipy and people almost sort of wish ill upon each other. Mm. Hard yeah. to work in that environment. Right. The second thing that um, I wanted to change was this opportunity where people actually had a career growth. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people grow and then they're the top stylist or top nail tech and then they have nowhere to go. So we are actually building a place where if and when people want to start their own company, we would partner with them. Mm -hmm. So really looking at... Oh, wow. At, that's yeah, really cool. Right? That just clicked in my brain. Okay. So you you would partner with someone that's amazing. Yeah. So that they could... they could And then they could, with my mine and my husband's perspective yeah. actually like launch their business. Of, wow. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. I love that. Um, so on the other end of the spectrum, so yeah. you, you uh, your relationship with the people that you work with is amazing, but on the other end of the spectrum, you all, you also have uh, the people that obviously come here that have been yeah. coming here for a while. Um, what's, what's, you know, the most important thing about building those relationships mm. for you yeah. and, um, yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. So again, um, I came from the the hair world, specifically the high end mm -hmm. precision cutting, precision coloring. So really exquisitely trained. Yeah. And what I found disturbing was the difference of how salons are run versus the other things in hospitality, hotels, mm -hmm. and restaurants, where in a hotel or a restaurant. Every aspect of the experience is exquisite. Mm -hmm. In a salon, often you can come in, especially a more prestigious salon, and the receptionist might be rude, rude or right. cold or aloof, and potentially you actually might not have a relationship with anyone other than your person. Mm -hmm. And so you sort of almost feel like you don't belong. Um, so I wanted the experience to be one where you felt enfolded yeah. by the second you walked in oh. where people know your name yeah. know what you want to drink where the environment itself is beautiful so for example this is our nail salon we don't have tvs in here mm -hmm. everyone talks to their clients um and then the actual experience so me building a team environment for my mm -hmm. employees the clients often talk about how much they love coming here and love how fun we are yeah. as a group and they can really feel the camaraderie. Because people are happy to work here, so yeah. they that reflects on the experience. Yeah, for sure. Oh my God, that makes so much sense. All right, another portion of your business is that you are green. Yeah. So you also do good for the environment. You yeah. are a Shoko business, which, you know, means that you are giving back. Yes. And that's what Shoko businesses fall under. So tell us a little bit about why why are you green? Why did you sure. choose to do that? Well, can I take both of those yeah. two separately? Mm -hmm. So the green part. So. When you run a salon, it's actually, <laughs> it's kind of a horrifying environmental nightmare right. to think of laundry going all the yeah. time, electricity going all the time, water running all the time. The color you're pulling out goes into the garbage, yeah. into landfills. The bottles that we use for all the shampoo, like oh it's God, just, yeah. it's one big environmental nightmare. Yeah. So. We had the opportunity to work with a company. They are actually housed out of Montreal. They're called mm. Green Circle. Okay. So they actually do all of our recycling for us. Oh. And it is amazing what they do. They recycle everything. Hair, our leftover hair color. Wow. They will clean all of our foils, every part of our plastics, all of our metals. Um, what am I missing? All of our paper. So everything, our, the amount of garbage we now take out is probably one-tenth. What goes into the garbage now is one-tenth of what. So it's amazing. 95% mm -hmm. of everything in a salon is recycled by Green that's, Circle. That's insane. Yeah. The only thing we do not recycle mm -hmm. is if something has food waste on it. So oh, if it yeah. gets tainted with food waste, that's the one thing that has to go in the garbage. Yeah. We recycle all your waxing implements, all of your nail. With the implements. hair on it? Yes. It's That's all recycled. So yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> everywhere throughout the salon, we have very specific bins mm -hmm. that take each of the various items. Wow. And I'll show you how small our one waste basket is. 
like the one that actually goes to, to the trash. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Um, so why do you feel like it's important for you as a salon to be green? Um, as I said, the footprint is really big and it's pretty upsetting mm -hmm. to think um, what we're doing to the environment yeah. and to think, you know, I'm just one of millions of salons. Right. So to just know that um, if I can make my part and do my part yeah. and not only that, but the things that Green Circle make, they actually make things from the recycled mm -hmm. products. So we're not only just taking things out, but we're actually additive. Right. Why not be additive? Yeah, 100%. So, yeah. Uh, all right, so the next question, being part of a show called business means uh -huh. you give back, right? Yeah. So how do you, how does your salon do that? How do you give back to the community? Yeah, a couple of different things. We are, um, <clears throat> the salon supports, for example, um, Active Transportation Alliance. Mm -hmm. They are the, you might know them as Bike the Drive. Oh, yeah. Usually yeah. is the one that everyone has heard of. Um, but they're the ones who are putting all the bike pathways. Mm -hmm. They work with the city to really make our environment uh, a much more friendly pedestrian bike, um, healthy city. That's like my city. dream. Yeah, right? Like, I just want to be Copenhagen, but, yeah. you know, just bikes everywhere and people yeah. walking. Yeah. Yeah. They actually had a big part to do with kind of getting the oh. divvies in. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, Advocating with the mayor and whatnot. Yeah. That's so cool. <coughs> I love that. Um, and then other yeah. organizations. So there is a homeless shelter in the neighborhood here, Lincoln Park Community Center. Mm -hmm. We're alliance with them. So a couple of things that we'll do sometimes we um, support and bring in some of the people who might be going for interviews, helping mm. them with haircuts, makeup. Other times if we have products that we are no longer going to use, but they're, they're good, yeah. we'll donate them hair products or tools, things that we're no longer using. We've done coat drives for them. Oh, I love that. Um, and then I also support some of the schools around. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, um, doing part of their silent auctions and this and that to encourage people to give to those foundations. So um, like Lincoln Park High School, yeah. um, and uh, we also do Friends of the Park. So, mm. you know, Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So <coughs> finally, what services do you offer as a oh salon? My goodness. Okay. <laughs> so we um, we are a full service salon. Okay. So we have up in the hair world, we have cuts and hair color, all of the blonding, um, and then we do smoothing in Japanese. We are formaldehyde free again. Okay. Not a, uh, we don't want formaldehyde in here, so we yeah. do an anti formaldehyde product called Cezanne smoothing. Okay. Um, in the nail world, we are um, acrylic, classic, no chip, and gel overlay and dip. And then all four of my nail techs are amazing artists, so they do just fun, fabulous nails. Oh, love that. Um, and then we have aesthetics. We have um, amazing women whose hands are just like little god love notes to your face. Uh, so uh, facial. Oh, I can and tell your skin is like amazing. Thank you. This yeah. is really, I would say, from her and her products. Yeah. Only Your Ex is one of our products that we carry, as well as Jane Aridal. Mm -hmm. And both of them are some of the cleanest products. <clears throat> a lot of things, both in skin and hair, there's a lot of like sort of dirty products, yeah. dirty lines out there. So it's nice to carry beautiful products that actually are good for your skin, yeah. good for your hair. Um, and then I myself am a Reiki healer. So mm. I do Reiki. And I also, on the side, run to um, support my husband and I. We run a couples program. Oh, like you need more work. Like, like I need, yeah, I mean, my like people, my team enough. is always like, yeah. in what world do you have more time for this? As well as I run a women's organization. Wow. So, oh, my God. Yeah. That's... So, and then I've launched um, something that um, the uh, owner or founder of, uh, Shoko Karina has come to it's called the beauty flip mm. which I'm changing the conversation of where beauty really comes from and kind of putting it back into this really grounded place where our beauty comes from us knowing and loving ourselves yeah. and getting out of this world of I'm gonna have to say the Kardashians etc right. where it's all about how many beauty products you buy and yeah. How tall are you, and how skinny, and how blonde? You know, let's yeah. let's let's just break move the away you, let's move away. 
yeah let's let's give I'll unclench and just relax exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah let's let's own yeah. who we are and yeah and name what is beautiful about ourselves yeah so uh what are your most popular services what do people usually mm. gosh you know i would really say we are definitely known as <clears throat> a hair salon because that was what was yeah. first mm -hmm. um but nails are probably close second oh and also i'm definitely I'm, coming back for the nails yeah like for sure, i love right? nail art so oh, now that gosh. you say that you have yeah i'm coming back for the nails nice that's also like my secret passion like i would love yes. to learn how to do nails so that's like yeah i'm always like can i see what nail art you yes. do so, yeah. yes okay. um and then um i had won awards in um updo so oh. we do do enough <gasps> weddings we do a certain amount of weddings so i love that so um, it's not our biggest, but it is, you know, near and dear um, and creating beautiful environment by which yeah. to have a wedding it's, party. Your salon is absolutely beautiful. Thank I you. I know we didn't talk about it, but we will show it. So, you know, as you watch yeah. the video, you've seen it. It is absolutely beautiful. We are about to go. I'm about to go get a blowout. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I have not gotten a salon blowout Ooh. in 13 years. I believe it. I have a lot of hair. Yes, you do. And people are often like, do you want a blowout after your cut? I'm like, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll just do it at home. Like literally, no, I, horrifying. I, I have never, because I'm like, you're not going to be able to. So I'm excited. Shame on them. I really, so when I train my new stylists, uh, they go through a training program. Yeah. And I insist that they must know how to deal with kinky curly hair. Yeah. And they do blowouts. And we actually have one later on this afternoon. And it's going to take my level one stylist. It's probably going to take her an hour 45. But that hair will look amazing. Yeah. And um, so we do. We do all the blowouts. And on top of it, I'm going to treat you to what we call our signature shampoo. <gasps> yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. Okay, let's go do that. <laughs> <laughs>